hello everyone. In order to proceed further with uh, integrals, we need to be better at evaluating limits. So what we're going to do in this video is take a step back and go back to the evaluation of limits. We're going to study a new method, which is super powerful. It's called L'Hopital Rule, and it's very, very, very useful for evaluating limits that are indeterminate. All right, so let me first remind you what we did last semester. So we studied a certain type of limit. For example, we, if we had the limit as s goes to 2 of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2, then we realize that this is a case of the type 0 over 0, because as x goes to 2, the numerator and the denominators are both 0. But in this case, we could actually evaluate the limit, because we could realize that the numerator actually factorize to x minus 2 times x plus 2, and then we can uh, simplify, and we end up with the limit as x goes to 2 of x plus 2, which is just equal to 4. All right, that's all good. That's one way of evaluating limits of the type 0 over 0. But it only works if you can do an algebraic manipulation, and that simplifies the expression. Right? You cannot always do that. Right? For example, another case was the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x. In this case, this is still a 0 over 0 case, but we cannot simply uh, do some algebraic manipulation to simplify the expression. So how can we evaluate this limit? Well, we actually did this calculation last semester. The result is 1. And what we did is use some very fancy uh, calculation using the squeeze theorem and so on. But is there a better way of evaluating limits, indeterminate limits like that, without having to go through the whole squeeze theorem stuff? Well, it turns out that there is, and this is called L'Hopital rule, and it's a very, very uh, important uh, way of evaluating limit. All right, so suppose you have two functions, f and g, that are differentiable. You need to assume that the derivative of g is not zero in some open interval that contains the point where you're going to take the limit. Now, the statement is if you have, if you take the limit of the quotient of the two function, and that it turns out to be of the type zero over zero, or infinity over infinity, so in other words, the limit of f is zero and the limit of g is zero, or both limits are plus or minus infinity, if this is the case, then L'Hopital rule says that the limit as x goes to a of the quotient here is the exact same thing as the limit as x goes to a of the quotient, but of the derivative functions. Now, this is very useful because this might be indeterminate, but this may actually be uh, finite or, or infinite or, or whatever, but it may be uh, possible to evaluate the right-hand side here. So that gives a very powerful way of evaluating limits of the type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Now, it's important to note here that in L'Hopital rule, on the right-hand side, this is not the derivative of the quotient, right? This is not the same thing. We're not taking the derivative of the quotient. We're taking the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. It's very different. All right, so let me just do a few examples of how you can use L'Hopital rule to evaluate indeterminate limits. So let's start with the example that we have. So limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x. Well, the first thing is to realize, to uh, check whether it's of type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. In this case, this is 0 over 0, so that's fine. So what L'Hopital rule tells me is that this is the same thing as the limit as x goes to 0 of the derivative of the function upstairs over the derivative of the function downstairs. So derivative of sine of x is cos of x. Derivative of x is 1. Now that's great, because now this is perfectly well defined. The limit of this expression as x goes to 0 is just 1. Ha! Now I've proved that the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x is equal to 1. And that was a very simple calculation. I didn't need to use squeeze theorem and so on. I was just I just had to use L'Hopital rule. So you see how powerful this rule is. All right, let me do two more examples. Suppose that I have the limit as x goes to infinity of log of x over x minus 1. All right, so is that of, uh, well, first is that indeterminate. So the numerator as x goes to infinity is infinite. Denominator is also infinite. So I get a limit of this type. So that's great. I can use L'Hopital rule. What will I get? Get the limit as x goes to infinity. Derivative of log of x is 1 over x. Derivative of x minus 1 is 1. So in other words, I get the limit as x goes to infinity, 1 over x, which is just 0. All right, so the first case I got 1. Second case I got 0. 
could be anything, right? These indeterminate forms can give 0, 1, plus or minus infinity. You don't know. You just have to evaluate the limit. Okay, and let me do one last example. So if I have the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x minus x over x cubed, so as x goes to 0, sine of x minus x is equal to 0, and the denominator is also 0. So that's of this type. So I use L'Hopital rule. Derivative of the numerator gives me cos of x minus 1 over 3x squared. But now as x goes to 0, this is still of the type 0 over 0. Right? Cos of x minus 1 is 0, and 3x squared is still 0. So I cannot uh, evaluate this, but what can I do? Well, this is still 0 over 0, so I can apply the L'Hopital rule again. Right? So sometimes you may have to apply the rule more than once, but that's perfectly fine. You can keep going. So I get the limit as x goes to 0. Now if I take the derivative of the numerator here, I get minus sine of x. In the denominator, I get 6x. This is still the type 0 over 0. So I apply L'Hopital rule once more. I get minus cos of x over 6. Aha! It is not now indeterminate anymore, so I can evaluate this as x goes to 0. This becomes minus 1 over 6 which is the final result for the original limit. So the lesson here is that sometimes you may have to use L'Hopital rules more than once, but that's perfectly okay. All right, so L'Hopital rule is a very powerful method for dealing with indeterminate limits of the type 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. But it turns out that there's many and more forms of indeterminate limits. So that's what we're going to study in the next video. But if for all indeterminate limits, the trick is always the same. You somehow want to transform them uh, so that you can use L'Hopital rule. So L'Hopital rule is very, very, very powerful.